Arnold Schwarzenegger's rep advice. Now, back when he was starting off in bodybuilding, probably when he was a lot smaller than he was, in the early days he used to hang out in a couple of gyms in Austria. And he said that at the squat rack there was a plank forwarded to the wall. Now, what you would do is, as you would do your squats, just to keep in mind of how many squats or how many sets that you did, he would have a little pencil and he would go over and he would mark it on the board. So, as he went through his sets, he would mark these off one by one. And then there was probably little groups of four with the one through to, you know, to record his five reps or sets or whatever he wanted to do. But he would mark them on the board all the time. So, he said that board over time would get filled up with everybody's kind of X's or whatever marks they would be making on the board. But he said he kept that, that notion later on in life when it came to being the governor for Austria when it came to whatever he was doing he would keep in mind that he needed to put in the rep so if he needed to do a speech he would do the speech over and over again and again I think he actually did use that little trick of marking down his reps but he knew that he needed to do it over and over again to get it perfect just like he used to need to lift those weights over and over again to build his muscles the way he needed to rehearse again and again and again to perfect his posing routine or whatever he needed to do but he knew that he needed to put in the reps now at the moment i am listening to russell brunson's audiobook on expert secrets and he said that if you want to kind of find your voice if you want to be you know to start building an audience you need to put a lot of content out and you need to do it regularly before you find your voice and probably before you find your audience now he recommends that you should put out probably a year's worth of content every day no, not as pardon me not every day but you should put out a year's content showing up regularly every day put it out there and it's only after a year or so that you'll actually find your audience and your audience will find you now he said when he was thinking of doing a podcast he kept it off for the longest time but it was one day his company wasn't doing too well and he thought he would record his progress as how he you know turned it around how he lifted it up from where it was to where he wanted it to be but he used to have 10 minutes in his car every day and he said well why don't i record a podcast in this 10 minute journey to work and he did that for about a year or so now he said the first 45 episodes of that podcast sucked but he said after that then people did notice a difference in how he would speak how he would come across maybe the content he was creating or maybe he was just more natural in those podcasts but it was only from doing that those podcasts over and over and over again that he improved on it that he got better at and his audience eventually found him but you know there's so much content as he says online it's very hard to be noticed if you only have one or two pieces of content out there so if you think maybe that you are a blogger and you think you are going to find your audience with a handful of articles i'm here to tell you you're not and again if you think maybe somebody's going to find you in the amazon store with only one or two books i'm here to tell you again that isn't going to happen you need to put out as much content as you can and you need to do it as regularly as possible and you need to be well aware that in the early days not many people are going to find you you're going to be like russell you probably need going to do maybe 45 maybe 50 podcast episodes before you start finding your first couple of you know listeners or whatever it is you need to do but you need to kind of as he said do be prepared to put out a year's work before anyone actually takes notice of you so whatever you are doing today maybe you should be like arnold maybe you need to have that little reps board where you can mark off every day that you show up and put the work in again I'm trying to still do these two videos per day to create 700 episodes. Now I have fallen back a little bit because you're going to win holidays for weekends and some days the weather has been terrible. I couldn't actually get out to do my walk and to record these videos but I'm trying to get back on track. I'm trying to still put my little X's on the board and mock up my reps but I know at the moment if I looked at the podcast episode stats I know I would probably be gutted but how little people have actually found it and how little people have maybe listened to it so i know that from listening to him it's given me a little bit of confidence in myself that you know i probably need to put in a year's work at this before i'll improve before i'll find my voice and before people will probably pay attention to me and find me and all those different things so if you are somebody unfortunately who is being duped into thinking that you know you're going to retire on a blog in six months time from 
a handful of articles or that you are going to make a kind of an income in the Kindle store with only a handful of books. I'm here to tell you that you are deluded and whoever is telling you that is pulling the wool over your eyes. You're going to need to show up regularly. You're going to have to put tons of content out there for you to get better at it, for you to be found and you know to have something out there. So don't expect to rely, retire as I said in a couple of blog posts or a couple of books. As Arnold said show up, do the reps, show up regularly, mark off your wall or whatever you need to do but be prepared for putting a lot of content out there before anything is going to happen and unfortunately a lot of people aren't willing to keep in the game they're not willing to show up again and again you know as, a, as I'm walking around this field now it's starting to rain but I'm going to keep continuing on doing it and I know I know there isn't an audience right here now I'm probably only speaking to maybe a handful of people in these episodes but I'm willing to do it because I know it's only me getting through these kind of lean times that we will kind of get through to the other side so again I probably did waff, waffle a little bit there I probably did maybe go off a little bit but I'm just here to tell you that to be aware that you need to be in this for the long haul you need to be prepared that there are going to be a lot of weeks and months where you're not going to be making any money where you're not going to have an audience or whatever it is but there will reach a time when there will be a sweet point when suddenly your audience showed up suddenly your listeners appear and suddenly your book starts selling more and more because you have reached this kind of tip over point so be prepared to you know keep talking to nobody like I am at the moment until your audience finds you so take whatever you can out of that thing but maybe the thing with Arnold remembering that you need to put in the reps to get better maybe that would be something maybe you could take to heart today and maybe put into action so as always if you'd like to ask me a question or you'd like me to cover something in an upcoming podcast episode reach out to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com or if you'd like to know where all this content is if you are one of those few listeners at the moment if you want to do a google search for writecom that's w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e dot com you'll find the content all over the web now if you go to the Redcom site right now we have a great free report which is called Words to Wealth and in it I'm going to show you 10 different ways you can make money from writing. So if that intrigues you or you'd like to try it out, head over to Redcom, download the free report and as always have a great day. Bye bye.